Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Season of Arrivals, Festival of the Lost, and soon to be Beyond Light Intel. And in this video, we are going to be covering everything associated with the Festival of the Lost event, all the loot associated, and everything that you're going to want to know to get everything faster than you should. Gonna get to all the information regarding this and a new secret item that you're gonna wanna get your hands on as fast as possible in just one second. But first, I just wanna remind everybody, I'm still doing the giveaway on my YouTube channel. The next one will be at 50,000 subscribers. All you have to do to be entered into that giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notifications, the bell, it's right next to the big red subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. I also encourage everybody to go ahead and join the Discord channel if you need help with anything that we discuss in this video. And as always, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll have a secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section to be entered into that giveaway a second time for this video. And remember, those secret hashtags, they stack between all content on this channel. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. Okay, so. We're primarily going to talk about one thing because everything else that we'll talk about in this video will sort of branch off from that. And that is this one very sought after item, the Cypher Decoder. Now these are making quite the buzz in the Destiny Tube hemisphere at the moment uh, because there is a secret triumph associated with these Cypher Decoders. Now, why do you want Cypher Decoders to begin with? Cypher Decoders allow you to unlock the five extra chests after any Haunted Forest run. So if you're running the Haunted Forest, at the end, you'll get one chest that you can loot no matter what. But you'll also have uh, up to, I believe, seven chests actually that you can loot at the end but you need cipher decoders to loot those extra chests. So why do you want to loot those extra chests besides the added loot? If you unlock 45 of those chests, there is a new triumph under seasonal events, festival of the lost, caches galore. It says when you open 45 caches, so when you loot 45 chests at the end of the Haunted Forest, you will get a new item that at this moment has no real use. But there are rumors because the Festival of the Lost was initially supposed to come out actually after the last expansion, but the expansion got moved, that this item, which is called the Ascendant Lens, which looks like it has something to do with the Dreaming City, will have some use once the new expansion actually releases. So beyond getting the Secret Triumph, you will get the Ascendant Lens new item. I always err on the side of get something, regardless if you know what it's used for yet. I'm sure everybody's going to want this. So the next question then, how do I get as many of these Cypher decoders which you can only hold 25 of as fast as possible. And there's several ways. The easiest way, in my opinion, if you're a solo player, is actually to just go and do these, the heroic adventures. The heroic adventures rotate every day, so you'll have some that are very short. And of course, the planet will rotate week to week, so there's a chance to even get shorter ones as the event continues. At the end of every heroic adventure completion, and you can get through some of these in under three or four minutes, I've found, you will get sometimes a chocolate strange coin. You will always get some candy. And there is a chance to get a cipher decoder. I would actually suggest doing these solo because it actually seemed like when I was doing this with two people, I would get one cipher decoder every three runs. When I was doing it with three people, it also seemed like three to four runs. But when I was doing it just by myself, it seemed like every two runs I was getting a cipher decoder. So 
depending on the actual heroic adventure, there is a chance that you might get a cipher decoder every six minutes or so. Another method you could use is to go to the moon. I'm not sure why the moon is special, but I'm going to assume it's because it's the most recent expansion and do patrols. Not every patrol will award a cipher decoder. It is RNG, but just like the heroic adventures, you can also do this over and over fairly fast and the chances of getting one are maybe one in six. But like I said, the heroic adventures seem to be every one in two. And a great thing about the heroic adventures is, and this is just sort of a pro tip, that when you actually complete them, there is a countdown timer. Once the countdown timer actually ends, you will have to go through an entire load screen and then you will be put back onto the planet, wherever the heroic adventure is on this particular week. It is, of course, Nessus, which I think is sticking around next season, or is that one of the planets that's disappearing? I can't remember. I think it's actually one of the ones that's disappearing. But if you do not let the timer count down, you won't be warped to some random place on the planet. You will actually be put back right in front of the heroic adventure marker. So I'll just demonstrate this really quick. I'm going to head over to the heroic adventure marker. I'll start up the heroic adventure. Seems like you get a bit of candy sometimes just for entering. That's interesting. And now say I was to complete this, the timer would start. I will get my loot, which could be a cipher decoder, and then I will simply abandon the activity rather than let the timer count down. If I let the timer count down, it will teleport me to any random place on Nessus. But if I abandon the activity, I can get the loot and I will simply respawn right in front of the heroic adventure again. So this saves you a lot of time of having to run back to the marker and queue it up. You can just requeue it. So that and patrols on the moon are probably the two easiest methods to do while solo. There are several other things that you can take advantage of as far as things like candy is concerned. One is the Prophecy Dungeon. There is a particular area where you can simply take out the uh, Scion Orbs, I believe, and you can do this infinitely and just farm them out. You can also use the Ascendant Challenge this week by using the Continuous Super Glitch. Um, this essentially revolves around going into the Ascendant Challenge, which this week's Ascendant Challenge has a well in the center at the completion of the Ascendant Challenge, which it gives you an infinite super, which you would typically use to take out the knights that are trying to kill you. But you can essentially just keep getting your super over and over, stay in the Ascendant Challenge, as long as you don't kill all the knights, you can farm all the Cursed Thrall, and you can get a lot of candy. But that's just for candy. And the very last thing that we're going to talk about is a pretty crazy glitch that is quite the buzz at the moment. And I unfortunately don't have video to properly illustrate this, but I'm going to leave a link in the description box to my buddy scaro 9s YouTube channel. I think he did a really good demonstration of this, but I'm going to talk you through it as best as I can. Now, keep in mind this you can't do solo, but essentially what it's going to revolve around is the Spire of Stars raid. Now the Spire of Stars for some reason works different, but what we're going to be doing or talking about is essentially a variation on the Prophecy Dungeon loot glitch that was running rampant about two months ago when the dungeon was first released. 
Essentially how it worked was you would get a checkpoint right after the boss was actually killed. And this is how it works in the Spire of Stars. You will go to the boss, so you'll have to either get a checkpoint for the boss or progress through to the actual boss. But then once you've killed the boss, before the chest actually spawns, you're going to want to leave the raid. This can be done by essentially changing character. You will get the checkpoint right before the loot is actually given, but the boss is actually killed. So essentially in between, and then you can reload into that section. So right after the boss is killed, but before the loot has actually spawned and get the loot over at any given point. But what you're gonna wanna do is bring a buddy with you at that point. Have somebody join up with you and you'll load in to that in-between gap together. And while you're into the slipstream mode, loading into the actual raid, whoever actually has the checkpoint will leave using the change character option on your option screen again, or just by bringing up the change character. Once you've done that, the buddy who doesn't have the checkpoint will be able to load into the Spire of Stars, get the loot. They can then rejoin up on you once you've loaded back in on the same character, and you can repeat this process over and over. And for some reason, it gives you Cypher decoders as RNG. Remember, you do have to have a mask equipped to get any of this stuff, but it counts as a completion, so the odds of getting a Cypher decoder is about one in every three. Uh, people are saying you can get up to 20, sometimes maybe even 30 every hour. So it's a fairly simple process. Once again, get the checkpoint for the boss after he has died, leave before the loot actually spawns, so you get the checkpoint for that in-between period. Go back to orbit, have a buddy join you. Load in to the Spire of Stars. As you're loading in, change character once again, let your buddy go in, get the actual checkpoint himself, get the loot, and then rejoin up on you. You can then swap back and forth, and once each one of you have a total of 25. You can then go and use them and progress towards your Ascendant Lens. So that's going to be it for all the information in today's video, guys. Check out that link in the description box. And for the secret hashtag, you can leave in the comment section today. Leave a hashtag Ascendant Lens or a hashtag Cypher Decoders, or a hashtag Festival of the Lost. Hopefully there are no more glitches or farms that we can cover this month. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I am Wilhelm Scream. We will, of course, see you in the next video. Little.